allow the challenges of life to tell you or dictate to you that you know what, you need to do something else. Because that's a mistake. So that's one of the mistakes that um, entrepreneurs make. The next one is you feel working on your mindset is a waste of time. Working on your thinking, working on transforming how you think is a waste of time. Do you remember the uh, formula for success? What was the formula for success? 20%. 20%. 20% action and 80%. 80% is your belief. So this is what you really need to be working on. Because I can tell you from my personal experience and the experience of my clients, who, by the way, when they come to me, it has to do with something external, marital problems, or most of the time they want to increase their income of clients, right? But guess where I start? I start here because I know once this clears up, do you know that when you improve or you um, manage your belief and you transform your thinking, do you know that it increases your energy? Did you know that? Yeah. It actually increases your energy. And some of us are just guzzling down caffeine <laughs> like it's going down the style. And what you really need is you need a mindset shift. Because once you shift this, it increases your energy. In addition to eating healthy, right? Intimacy, eating healthy and exercising. But this can increase your energy. It also gives you, helps you to focus when you know how to set your mind the right way, when you know the right way to think. And successful people think a certain way. They don't let distractions or challenges get them off kilter. All right? So, the three mindset mistakes are what? Selling, selling, selling is wrong. wrong. Yes. Yeah. No. And feeling no. mindset is a waste of time. All right, so that's the three of the three, two, one punch to get on stuff. So let's see what the two is. Two is two reasons you are in the same place now that you were last year. So if in one area of your life, whatever that area is that you're focusing on today, if in that area you are still in the same place, it could be that you're not willing to do something different. You're not willing to do something different. And sometimes that means that you I hate to say this, but sometimes you just get lazy in certain areas. You just, you know, I don't want to do it. You're just not willing to do it. Or you get comfortable. The next reason is that you are afraid to do something different. You are afraid to do something different. This is the one that gets people most of the time. It's fear. Now the one to the three to one punch is there is one question that can move you forward. Now as a coach, one of the things about coaching is that we ask a lot of questions. So when my clients come to me, I'm asking you a lot of questions. Why? Because you're an intelligent person, right? It's just that your mind is so cluttered, you just can't focus. You can't meander and tangle through. So I, I try to help you, right? And asking questions is a very good way to trigger things in your mind and to ignite things. So one of the most powerful questions you can ask yourself or answer, and you're going to be hearing it a lot over and over today because that's another thing that we've learned, I've learned as a coach, is that sometimes you have to ask a question over and over again, maybe a different way, because it's like peeling an onion. You peel the layers, and you keep peeling the layers, right? So the powerful question is, who do I need to be to move to the next level? <clears throat> who do I need to be? 
to move to the next level? Who do you need to be? Do you need to be more confident in a certain area? Do you need to have more integrity? Do you need to change your attitude? Who do you need to be? In order to, to experience what it is that you want to experience in your life or your business. So in my, um, in the interest of time, I'm going to go on. But in this uh, CD, it's actually a CD, and you can uh, purchase it during the intermission or at the end. It's about $15. And what I talk about is in an hour teaching and training. And what I talk about is what are the correct mindsets that you need to move you forward. And this is um, something that I teach my clients. And I have, I'm actually going to have one of my clients come up. She's here today. And she's going to come up later on. But I've had clients that I've taught them how to change their thinking, how to transform their mindset, how to shift their belief system. And what that did is it inspired the action. Because you want to have inspired action, right? And inspired their action so she was able to increase her income by about 25%. I've had clients that have changed their marital status, status from almost on the brink of divorce to now having a better relationship. Does it happen overnight? Absolutely not. But it happens over time if you're willing to put in the time and the effort and the energy. So that's the three to one punch to getting unstuck. So once you get unstuck, you have to understand that there are zones, there's transformation zones, because we're all transforming. Things are changing in life. Even if you were to lay in bed for a whole year, things would change, right? Wouldn't things change in your body? Your hair would grow, right? Even if you do nothing, there's a lot of things that change. They change on you, in you and they change around you. Your mindset would change, that's for sure. If you were laying on your bed for a whole year, your mindset definitely would be changing. And there was no music, there were no people around you, there was, you weren't listening to any training or teachings or anything like that, your mindset would change. Right? So things are always transforming in our lives. So there's three transformation zones that we go through. Three transformation zones. The first zone is the comfort zone. The comfort zone. That is the zone where you're asking yourself, when will it ever change? And you keep asking yourself this question because you're stuck, right? So you're not doing anything about it. But you keep asking, where will it change? And when you see everybody else around you achieving certain things in, your, in their life, you're wondering, well, what about me? Why not me? Yeah. Right? <laughs> but you don't want to do anything about it because you're in the comfort zone. So you know, you're nice and comfortable. It's really comfy here. You don't want anybody to change anything because you're comfortable, but yet you still want things to change. How many of us have been in that zone? Right? Yeah? Right? Okay, the second zone is what can I do? And this is where most entrepreneurs go and say, what can I do? That's where you get busy and you might do some training and you're improving your life and you're going, 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 going. That's the busy stage, right? And you stay busy. That's what can I do? And you keep doing. But guess what can happen when you stay in that zone? Burnout. Burn exactly. And let me tell you people, burnout shows up differently in everybody. Not everybody's going to get sick. Some of us get sick. Some of us get depressed. Right? Some of us do silly things with our money. Right? There's different ways that burnout, show, burn, burnout shows up. Some of us might not even know that you're burnt out. Some of you are burnt out right now and you don't even know it. <laughs> right? 
You are yeah. burnt out right now, and you don't even know you're burnt out. <laughs> That's the sad thing. So what I do is I help people to transition into zone three, which is the balance zone. Zone three, who must I be? Who must I be? Remember I said questions are gonna repeat themselves? Who must I be? That is an, the most important question you can ask yourself every day for the next 30 days. I want you to do that. Ask yourself, who, am I, who should I be in order to achieve this goal? Because we've all been we've all been programmed to ask, what should I do, right, to achieve a goal? But the most important question to stay in that 80% of success, the 80% is belief is to ask yourself, who should I be? Because that is what's going to inspire you. Because we all need to be inspired. That's what's going to inspire you to go to your next level. It's not the what should I do, because you get burned out very quickly. But the who should I be will inspire you, and it energizes you and fuels you to keep going. Who should I be? So I'm going to share with you the five steps that I use to help to elevate your image or transform your thinking, which is what we're talking about. The first step is to assess, assess where you are. Where do I start? When you have a, um, a GPS and you're going somewhere, what is the first thing it does? It finds out where 